What's up everybody and welcome to Cape Charles, Virginia where to be honest I wasn't planning on doing any vlogging this weekend. We're actually here visiting family and we've never been here before I didn't think there would be a whole lot of touristy interesting things to show off But the more we explore the town the more I find out how wrong I was There's a million little gift shops little treats little savory and snack items tons of interesting book and coffee shops And of course there's the beach right around the corner. We have so much to show you if you're new to the channel We usually do theme park stuff, but I'm Tim that's Katie and sometimes we also do things like this. In its heyday, Cape Charles was actually a railroad town right by the bay here, so you'll see all over the place remnants of the old railways, including some odd train cars and a lot of old railway systems. If you've got a weakness for sweet treats, there's no shortage of ice cream shops in Cape Charles. The two most popular are Cowlick's Creamery, which serves custard, and Brown Dog Ice Cream, which serves everything. Of the two, Brown Dog is definitely the more popular and usually has the longer wait. Although having now tried most of them, I will say, it's a trophy well deserved. If you've got a craving for house-made fudge or novelty beverages, you can satisfy your sweet tooth at the Cape Charles Candy Company. They also sell cornhole bag sets and they have an awesome cornhole setup right outside where you can test them. If you're looking for something more substantial, we can highly recommend the Cape Charles Coffee House Restaurant for breakfast and the Bakery on Mason for lunch. Bottom line, there's no shortage of places to eat in Cape Charles. Until... 9 o'clock. Shut down. Midnight madness is not a thing. Now, of course, you have all of your basic needs and amenities here. There's a medical center, there's an optometrist, there's realty, but you also have unique novelty shops like this place, Table and Tonic, which does everything from incense to puzzles. Like a Sailor is kind of like this venture's gift of Cape Charles. It's got puzzles, it's got games, and it's got a lot of merch that I can't show on a family-friendly channel, but it's amusing to look at. There's a really cool little shop behind me called Voyager, which manufactures goods based on free trade. Everything that's in that store has been either produced by a free trade country or free trade organization or is benefiting escapees of like an abusive relationship or of sex trafficking or things like that. It's a really really cool idea and it really does make you feel a little better about spending a lot of money when you know that every dollar of it is going back towards helping a good cause. Cape Charles is also a hopping spot for art so up and down the main street aka Mason Avenue you'll see lots and lots of art galleries. They also have this super cool historic theater here. Shows are a little bit sparse right now because of the pandemic but they do have some upcoming events in here and we just missed a show as we were arriving in town just the other night. It did happen, we weren't able to catch any of it, but we did get a peek inside the theater and it looked awesome, very well maintained. At the tail end of Mason Ave, you'll find this adorable little cottage that's been converted into a bookstore and a coffee shop. They have everything from Stephen King to graphic novels to Jane Austen. Ah, nothing quite like that new book smell. Like many towns, Cape Charles does have a central park. If there is anything happening in Cape Charles, it's a 50-50 whether it's gonna happen at the beach or in the Central Park area. Looks like the concert's actually about to happen in Central Park later on tonight. We're probably gonna miss it because we have dinner plans. It's a cool little thing that Cape Charles does. It's an area where you can actually gather and you've got plenty of space to spread out. Huh? Yep, look at that. It's Love Fest tonight. What do you know? Groovy. If you're wondering how we're able to get from place to place so fast, I am so excited to tell you guys that golf carts are street legal in Cape Charles. So if you rent a golf cart, which you have to do in advance, you're able to drive it around at 25 miles an hour all across the two mile stretch of the town. It's awesome. Best 40 bucks I ever spent. We got ours at CC Riders Rentals just outside the city. We were very lucky to do so. The lovely Riley assisted us. Usually you would have to make reservations quite a ways out, but we were able to get on a wait list and they happened to have one available. So we lucked out this trip. However, for future trips, we will definitely book a couple months out. It's beach time. Now bear in mind, this is not going to be a beach like Assateague Island or Ocean City. This is the bay. No surfing, no wave jumping, just calm, relaxing, soothing bay water. I found sea. Ah! I mean, this is a public beach, but it's a calmer, quieter public beach than any of the private beaches we've been to recently. I like it a lot. Soothing, calm, no madness. Except that which we bring ourselves. <laughs> A complete walk up the beach's shoreline probably equates to about a quarter of a mile. And there is a paved option just over the side of the dunes. You can walk the shoreline without walking through the sand. And you can get a great view of some classic sculptures here along the way. Who invented 
adventure! There's also an assortment of food trucks which you'll find popping up all over town, but especially near the shoreline, you'll definitely see a couple of these. This is Gordo's Taco Truck. Just to the other side of the public beach near the Love Icon sculpture, you'll find the Public Fishing Pier, which is open until I believe midnight. It's open from 6 a.m. to 12 a.m. 6 a.m. to 12 a.m. If you're interested in fishing, you definitely have opportunity to do so while here. We were definitely seeing a couple of fish while we were playing around in the water on the beach. If you're a professional fisherman, this is your town. This is where you can thrive. And from one end of the pier to the other, you'll constantly see these little postings that tell you every kind of fish you can potentially find in these waters. We hope you've enjoyed this little snapshot of Cape Charles. We've actually only been here for 48 hours, but if we had a whole week, I still don't think we'd be able to show you everything there is to see and do. There's a lot here. We way underestimated the allure of this quiet little beach town. If you're coming as far as Chincoteague Island, Assateague Island, or Ocean City, Maryland, do yourselves the favor, drive the extra hour south, and visit Cape Charles as well. There's a lot to see and do here. The people are very friendly. It's a good time. It's worth checking out. For now, guys, we're gonna go ahead and sign off. I'm Tim, that's Katie, and whether it's a quiet little beach town or a raging theme park, every day, is a new adventure. Beach time!